My name is Andy Papadopoulo. My field of study is neuromarketing. Innovio is a product commercialization company. We take products from ideation phase right through to commercialization. So that's the final product that you would see, let's say, on a shelf. But in this instance, it would be in the medical industry. We look at different ways of getting consumer research. And instead of utilizing the traditional methods, which is surveys and, and focus groups, we've looked at neuromarketing as a form of soliciting that type of information. Neuromarketing refers to the measurement of physiological and neural science. So we use the neural information as well as the physiological information to get additional data points which we utilize in deciphering the data that's been embedded in emotions and in feelings. There's roughly 300,000 products that are brought to market each year in the United States. Billions of dollars are spent on traditional marketing methods to ensure that these products are successful. In South Africa, the estimated failure rate for, for small medium enterprises is anything between 70 and, and 80 percent and this is something that uh, we, we can ill afford. So by using neuromarketing um, and augmenting uh, traditional marketing methods, we may be able to boost the chances of success. Hopefully this will help in sustaining sales and, and boosting or reducing uh, failure rates of, of products. When one conducts neuromarketing studies, about one and a half minutes worth of, of brain activity when we're recording is approximately a half a million data points. You can just imagine it's a lot of data. So in terms of IT, we require more RAM, computers that have the ability from a graphics point of view to, to obviously illustrate and depict better imagery than, than uh, standard sort of computers. One of the things we, we definitely need is processing power. In terms of the type of work we do, an i7 would, would probably be the, the entry level. So one of the reasons I particularly looked at the expert book B9 was because of the facial recognition software. I found the facial camera to be really responsive and also extremely good quality, which is also important for our facial recognition experiments. A lot of the research that, that I personally conduct is, is remote research. So the research in terms of neuromarketing done outside a laboratory setting is, is what my primary focus is. I do require a laptop which is able to, to get me through an, an entire day without having to find a plug point. A number of the places that we frequent don't have access to, to power. And this is why it's so important that uh, we find a, a laptop that has an all-day battery, at least.